previously on Dorking Uncovered. Mark really wants a cut run every year. Could it be a cut run? He gets pretty angry when he doesn't get one. At home, against a team that lived below, you should be down through. He doesn't want to draw Horsham. Yeah, I don't want to play Horsham. Dorking draw Horsham. Horsham gaffer Dom says he knows Mark really well, but then says this. Normal guy just loves his football. Bobby gets the formations right and then turns into the happiest man on the planet. Everything's going to be fine because Mark's got his lucky jacket. I've got my lucky jacket, so you can just relax today. And if anybody gets a yellow card, Mark's going to take him off. I mean, the bottom line is, any early yellows today in volatile positions are going to be coming off. And now it's time for the FA Cup special: Horsham FC versus Dorking Wanderers. Mark wants a fast start, as usual, really, and a Josh Taylor medium to long throw seems like a solid way of going about it. Set up, Josh! Josh! Fuck me, man! Unfortunately, the players didn't seem to agree. He set that up! That's a fucking chance, first 30 seconds. Squeeze! Squeeze! Dan! Squeeze! Squeeze! Mark's enthusiasm for cup success is perhaps influencing his touchline coaching as he urges his team to increase their intensity off and on the ball. Play! 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 Brick safe! Roll him! Roll him! Roll him! Hold it! Set it up! Set it up! It looks like Josh is on it this time. No, no, fuck off, cow! Fucking deliver it! Fucking shit, cow! Fuck off! Bricks it, shoot! Bricks it, shoot! Josh! 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 In the fucking box! Dawkins' pattern from the back isn't quite working, and Horsham are going to enjoy that. Get off, get off him, Brixie! Jules, get there! Come on, Jules! Good lad! Foot in, foot in! He fucking dived! If it's a foul, it's a booking, but it ain't a fucking foul. If it's a foul, it's a booking, because he'd have about four things to do and got one fucking right. Unlike Dorking, Horsham wastes no time chucking the ball into the box. And the Wanderers players soon realise that's going to be the theme of the day. Slow start here. When Josh does get the ball into the box, at least the Jason Price first efforts on goal. Sort, sort of. Jason! Off Jason, off Jason, off Jason, bring Good Josh! Bring Dorking's long balls are coming back like Nick Cotton. And Daniel Ashakai is relishing the chance to run at the Wanderers' defence. Reese smiles Meekums turns around so many times he confuses pretty much everybody, possibly even himself, and that opens up the Dorking left. That's offside! That's got to be offside! Has to be offside! Dino has spotted Shamir Fenelon in an offside position. The question is, did the officials... I thought that's got to be offside! It off someone. It was going wide. But I don't know who it came off. Jack Brivio's shot was indeed going wide and the ball clearly hits Fenelon before going in. Our angles are basically useless for offside calls, so we're not sure if the striker was beyond Dan Gallagher. From what we can tell, the officials believe he was, but they're not certain who touched it. Right, ask him if he's offside. They're not. What they're saying for, are they saying it's offside? They're saying it didn't it's a massive him. offside. It mate. did! 100% I know, but that's what they're saying. Joe Cook is urging the officials to reconsider and that's earned him a yellow card. So he's just booking everyone. Dan Pybus is ready to restart the game. Meanwhile, the referee has finally gotten around to talking to his assistants. George! George! Talk to Joe! Talk to Joe! Mark needs Joe Cook to be on his best behaviour now. He can't be reckless or dramatic. We'll leave that to the referee. Briggsy, don't let him have touches, mate. When you can, I know. Joe! Joe! Keep your head! Wait for it. Wait for it. Dun dun dun! 
Give off, good lad. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Told you. Told you. I'm going to be seen the yellow card. No, no, it's delicious. Still doesn't excuse the actions of the player in terms of deflection. Do we get the bookings back as well? What about the bookings? Fourth, do we get the bookings back? Listen, please listen. Leave him, leave him. He does, leave him. I know, I'm just asking. We've got three players on bookings. Right. Okay. If they'd allowed us to have that conversation, we'd have got to that decision earlier. Doesn't excuse the behaviour okay, of the player. Okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's what, fine. mate? Okay, yeah. That makes sense, but they probably could have got to that conclusion earlier if the referee had just made the call rather than walking a half marathon. But whatever. We're just bitter because he made us put our camera in the stand instead of pitch side. He said they didn't allow him to have the conversation to see whether it came off him. But they gave the goal. <laughs> The goal might have been disallowed, but Horsham have been invigorated. Carl. Forward, Joe! Joe, forward! George, forward! George, forward! Brixie! Get off Brixie. Brixie. Brixie, come on! Dorking finally play a long ball that they keep hold of. Here we go. Brixie. Long ball tests Joe Cook and perhaps makes Mark realise he can't afford a yellow back on a centre. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck, you know what I mean. Kill him! I'm doing him. Let's go, mate, going on. He's doing cookie. Are you doing cookie? Yeah. I'm not leaving him white man for man defender on a yellow card, mate. FA Cup, man. Cool. He's definitely cooking. No, he's just cooking. can't do it. Man for man defending yeah. the whole game. It's not his fault either, to be fair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Aaron Cool can provide a much needed outlet for a Dorking side stuck in their own half. Joe! Nothing he can do about it. Oh, if you hadn't done it, we wouldn't have got the goal back. You've done the right thing. Well done, mate. Nothing you can do about it. It's not your fault. What, the yellow, that's right. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I can't do anything about it, yeah. I can't leave you man for man the whole game. You're under pressure, aren't you? I'm cooking. But what I'm saying is, if you don't have a gut line, we, we probably don't get the fucking goal plan back off. Who was the... Who, who, yeah, was yeah, yeah. Put a top on, mate. Kill you! Tom! Tom! And now you're on your bike. Cool's passing is promising, but Wanderers still need to make the ball stick up top. Fenelon, 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 I can't say it. He's a man in need of redemption after the offside debacle and he's playing like it. Well, he didn't get, we didn't get. Dan, bad defending. End off, got a chewing gum. Horsham have been sounding a warning siren and we're not convinced that Dorking have identified exactly what that sound is. Cook, who is one of three former Wanderers in a Horsham shirt right now, clips a delightful pass into Lee Harding and he crosses for Daniel Ajakai, who fires him from close range to give Horsham a deserved lead. That, that ball to George there, into what's on the other feet there, yeah. we just need to secure the ball in there, get a bit of pressure in there. Oh. It's fucking coming back here every two seconds. I think it's jokes. Yeah. There's about 20 things wrong with that. I know. Tom I'm Blair there, there. from Kennedy there. I mean, like, in terms of the game, I know. It's Tom Blair, isn't it, all day long on that one. But what I'm saying is, there's, we've got no pressure in here. Yeah. Every time we get in here, it's a flick, it's a fucking chest to run to. We just need to secure it in front of us yeah. and just play from there, do you know what I mean? But like here, we need to look into someone's feet in here. Get into Briggs's feet, secure it in there. To be clear, we haven't made any cuts since that goal went in. Bench looks on stunned by the second goal inside a minute 
a wayward pass from Briggs lands kindly for the Horsham number 10, who drives forwards before unleashing a shot inside the far post, giving Harrison Mail no chance of saving his side. We'd show you the replay from behind the goal, but these idiots fucked with our GoPros. What is it with human beings and cameras? They just turn into total morons when they see them. Brixie, you, you feel okay? You feel like you can accelerate 200 miles an hour, yeah? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Right, listen, there's an awful lot, there's an awful lot to fix there, so I'm not going to try and fix it. All right. Tom, the fullback, where's Tom Blair? Yeah. He's having a field day. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's 200 grand. It's not sorry. Yeah, yeah. Listen, mate, off the ball, block him, on the ball, roast him. Last 15's been way better. Okay, Cal, you should be strict. Um, you might be, I can't hear. You should be organising that your side, yeah? Okay, listen, boys. This is where you have to use like every bit of mental strength you've got. Everything you've got in you, you've got to use now. You've got to use it now, okay? Because we cannot reverse a single thing. I'm not going to have a post-mortem about that first half hour. It's pointless. We, listen, let's front it up, right? We know it's been a sticky competition for this, right? And I always said, the year we fucking have a good one, it'll be something out of nothing. It'll be the one you didn't expect, innocuous. It could be the 2-0 down, the 4-2 win. And at the end, we're going, get the fuck in. You have to erase that half. And I'll say one thing now, our fans will be feeling the same as you and me. They will. So whatever happens here, you've got to go out of here today and making sure we put on a fucking show. Above all, you just fucking work, lad. You work and deserve to get sang out of it, right? That's what you do, okay? Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. This episode is being narrated at exactly 12.40 a.m. Um, and that's because we are making two episodes this week and the other one is for our new show, Rains Park Uncovered. And it's really hard to make two episodes in a week. So um, I thought we would use this moment to promote our other show and also explain why can't really be bothered to talk through this half and you'll understand that more as we go. Like Dorking Uncovered, Rains Park Uncovered is going to come out earlier on YouTube memberships and Patreon and you'll get extended episodes there as well, closer to 40 or 60 minutes um, depending on which tier you're on. Oh. Come on cow. Fuck me. In this half, Mark's expecting to see his players win battles and force the situation as the underdogs begin to feel the strain. If you're expecting that too, then, well... Speed it up! Speed it up! Round the corner, get it there early! Get it there early! Tom, loads of time in this game, relax. Tom, relax. There's a glimmer of light into Dawkins' dark day when Jason Pryor crosses for Josh Taylor. Oh. Forward! Relax. Do it, Tom, do it, Tom. Josh is unfortunate to see his attempt cannon back off the crossbar. Dorking are susceptible on the counter, although they're defending far better this time. Tommy, work in! He's your man, Tom! Tom Blair's had a tough time of it so far, and it's not going to get any easier for the lad. Tom, get up! Tom, get up! Tom, and this your fuck, get up! Come on, Tommy, let's go! 
Tom, what you done, mate? Tommy, get this goal, come on! Go on, Jason, Tom, get off it! Cal, 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 keep talking to him. Blairo, listen, it's okay. Hey, Tom, Tom, forget it all. Next 20, Tom, it's all that matters. I mean, sure, I should probably be making more of an effort to narrate this, but I just don't think I need to explain much. It's it's all pretty awful. The fact that it's 1am doesn't really change that for me. You've got to deliver, Cal. That's fucking poor. This side, Julie, Julie. Go on, Bob, go on, Bob. Aaron Cole's pass ends up in Farnborough, which coincidentally is where he's going to get shipped off to after this performance. And for the record, Cooley wrote that line this afternoon at training. Boys, forward early, forward early. I had to watch this once live. I had to watch it while I did the first edit. I've now got to watch it again while I'm narrating it. And I'm going to need to watch it again to quality control it tomorrow, probably. And then again on Sunday. I mean... Hate! No, Harrison. Cal, Cal, go on. Cal, go on. Oh, Bob. Bob. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, boy. Well done, mate. Cheers, Charlie, mate. Well done, mate. Cheers, Tommy, boy. Okay, yeah. All the best. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh, fucking, you want to be a fucking shamed. You have a lot doing running? Huh? I mean, that is, you know, so bad, so bad, right? This costs hundreds of thousands, this competition, okay? And this, I, I'm, I'll, I'll be in here for hours, by the way, because, you know, I'm the one, boys, I'm the fucking one that sits there doing the business models, knowing what these cut runs mean. Do you know what I mean? Know what it means, you know? That's the bottom line. So, this is a gigantic kick in the bollocks for the club. I don't, I want you to not underestimate how much this kicks the club in the bollocks. Don't underestimate it. This is the one time I will say 100% you lost us the game. Not all of you, not all of you. I'd say two or three players, two or three players have done their bits. But the way football works, you can't win games unless eight or nine players have a good game. That's just football. One minute in, Josh can put the ball straight in the box. I know it's a bit of a long way out, but we don't. Then we get another throw. Cal goes short for it, even though we've loaded the box, right? And straight away, I started thinking, we ain't fucking thinking it. I've told you to put it, put it on these, squeeze them up the pitch, right? And the bit you strategically got wrong was you couldn't work out that when you're under press direct, in open play, you went and fucking won battles. And we didn't win any battles. So we actually, we, we, we off the ball, off the ball, we played like we're playing Chesterfield away, where, we've, where we're giving them an extra fucking man and we're respecting them, you know, we didn't need to. The idea was an open play, we're going to engage the game. It's, a, it's an internet embarrassment. It's embarrassment for the club, embarrassment for me, personally. It's a financial issue. Massively, right, massively, massively, right? It's literally mortifying, lads. So much money involved. You're in the draw on Monday, you're in the draw on Monday, you get any sort of draw, you get all the profile all over the country. Loads of dough, right? The whole environment's great. Do you know what I mean? They were deservedly 2-0 up, deservedly. There was nothing fluky about it. 
They should have been two up. Right, we weren't good enough. Weren't good enough, okay? Management, I'll grab you now, yeah? And I'll see you lot Tuesday. On the one hand, I'm the manager, I'm the leader. Take the credit, take the glory, you know. Got to take the fucking, the, the opposite side of that. On the other hand, you have days when you think, you fucking wankers. Like, individually tossed it away, so quiet, bottled it. You know, I went about the prep for that game in a very relaxed manner. And, and, I, and, I don't, and I wouldn't do anything different. We could have literally not even spoke about that game, planned it on a fag packet last night and done better. Total waste of energy, time. I mean, I, honestly, I'm literally, I'm, I'm lost for word with some individuals. And we don't pick them out on here, and we won't pick them out on here. When you're signing boys on year, two year deals, um, and I have one, one of their agents give me a shout after he had a good couple of games. Well, I hope he gives me a shout today um, when he's one of three or four players that were fucking abysmal. We've uh, had massive overspend due to injuries, overspend from developing our ground close season. We had to win this game. You've got to, in life, you've got to bite down on the pillow. You've got to visualise when you have a day in the sun. You've got to visualise that playoff final, maybe nine months before it, when you got whacked somewhere and then you think, yeah, but I'm going to work hard until we have a day in the sun. And then when you have it, you know, you, you know, you sort of remember these moments, but I'm delighted for Dom. I hope he gets a massive draw so our players fucking feel the pain of that. But will they feel the pain? Will they fuck? Because if they, had, if they had the mindset to feel the pain, you'd have seen a lot more from the game today. That's the bottom line. We got done game, set and match by a team two divisions below. Well done to them. Um, that's where it is. Wankers. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more, there's loads more from the team talks and from the interviews and stuff, then join us on memberships. It's over an hour, something like an hour and a half long or something, the super cut. And then the, there's a 45 minute cut as well. And we do that every week, you get longer versions. So check them out. God, that was moody.